in your life's blueprint, you must have as a basic principle the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You're going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. And once you discover what it will be, set out to do it and to do it well. In Hello and welcome. My name is Bashir Fadl and I'm the president of IT's Fantastic. I'd like to welcome you to today's session which is one of the most important things in IT because a lot of us as IT professionals uh, are very technical, we're very sharp in what we do. I know a lot of you that have been developers are the best uh, in development. If you're network and security admins, you're the best in what you do. If you're database administrators, you're the sharpest in what you do. Uh, project managers, you got all your certifications and, uh, and, and, and you're good in what you do. Uh, however, one of the biggest challenges, and it's, it's one of the things that I've, I've, I've known, I remember when I completed college, I graduated, uh, that it really surprised me that I got a job at a company and someone that I knew took a lot more classes and had a lot more, at the time, a lot more, uh, let me just say smarter, sharper than I was, uh, to put it mildly uh, and humbly. Uh, I was surprised that I got a job at a company and he applied to the same job and did not get it. Uh, and it's one thing that it became a theme and a lot of you that have worked in IT would notice it is sometimes you would find someone that is very sharp, that knows their material, that are very technical, uh, but do not land the job. And the reason being is interview skills. Interview skills is something that is very important, just like it's important for me to know my technical side of things, it's also important for me to perform good in the interview. Uh, a lot of people are very, very sharp, are very, very good, I hate to admit it, but a million times better than I am, and we might go to a job and I might land that job, and they might not land that job, reason being is interview skills. And so that's what I want to talk about, is what are some of those interview skills that we need to have, uh, and why is it so important? Uh, and for you to succeed in everything, if you're doing a presentation, is for you to know who your audience is. Uh, who am I speaking with? So in an interview, I need to know who my audience is. If I'm applying for a job, I'm going to have a few interviews. Who is my audience? And that way I need to deal with them. And uh, there's certain expectations. So today we want to introduce that subject and talk about it and, uh, and discuss some of the points. Uh, for instance, the first one, is knowing your audience, as we said. Knowing my audience, usually in a, in a professional in an IT company, there's about three or four audiences that you have to perform in front of. Uh, the first one is that human resources or IT technical recruiter, could be a consulting company, could be a permanent firm, uh, that's going to pick up the phone and call you up, and that's called the phone interview. Basically, they're not someone that is technical, so they're not going to ask you that Java and C sharp and 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 and, and uh, you know network admin and, and and storage and LUNs and and database and, and store procedures uh, questions uh, and Cisco and Formatic and all that good stuff. But they're going to ask you very high level questions to make sure is this someone that I can proudly take their resume and give to my manager. So the first phone, uh, the first interview is what's called the phone screening, the phone interview where they go through your resume and they want to find out how many years of experience do you have. Uh, they want to make sure that you're a good, you know, a, a good match to the company. Uh, what, what, what are your reasons for leaving the company? What are your reasons for wanting to join our company? We want to make sure you're someone that's going to be motivated and is going to perform good with our company, that has the right experience, that has the right, uh, into, you know, basically a good fit for our company. Uh, so that they can take your resume and give it to uh, the manager. So that's the first one, it's called the phone screening. The second interview is where they take that resume to the manager and now you're going to have another interview usually called the face-to-face -face interview. Uh, in the face-to-face -face, you might have three different audiences. Again, it depends uh, on the nature of the company and how desperate they are and how fast they want to enjoy the company. But ideally there would be three audiences that you have. The first one is your coworkers. So what are you, a software developer then, or doing Java, then you're gonna go in there and you're gonna have two or three Java developers that you're gonna be working with, they're gonna be grilling you with all the technical questions. 
They might actually set up a computer in front of you and say, you know what, go ahead and write this piece of code. Uh, in other cases, if you're applying for, uh, let's say, Cognos or ETL or whatever, well, here's a file, go ahead and connect and SFTP it and load it into our database. Uh, or they will start asking you questions, uh, technical questions. So that's your second audience and how do I prepare for that audience, which is someone who is technical as I, as I am and they want to make sure that I can meet the challenges of that specific workplace. Uh, the third audience is the manager. Right now, I am a manager. What's my number one concern as a manager is I basically want to make sure that you're going to get things done. I want to make sure that you're going to make me look good because not all managers are technical. Some managers are not necessarily technical. Uh, they have a general idea of the, the IT operations and what you do, but they might not necessarily be very technical. So they want you to be able to be the person that can get the job done. Uh, so they're going to ask those questions about what are some of the challenges that you face and, and how do I know that if you face those challenges, you're going to get it done. Uh, one other issue is sometimes in IT, the nature of how IT works and the dynamics is, I don't want to call it animosities, but sometimes there is some conflict of interest. In other words, uh, if I'm a developer, a C-sharp developer, uh, and you are a QA analyst, then your job is basically to break my code. So we're not exactly on the same page. Even though I, I've spent amazing time to build this wonderful piece of code, your job is to break it. Uh, if I am a Unix administrator and you're an Oracle DBA, and we're told that we have performance problems, my job as a Unix administrator is to say, oh no, my server is perfect, it's your database. And your job as a DBA is to say, no, it's my, not my database, it's your fault. So as a manager, I want to make sure that you're someone who can collaborate and work good and have good communication skills with the other teams. Uh, and so the nature of the questions of the manager are from that background. Uh, and then sometimes uh, we would have a fourth audience uh, who could also be in the interview, and those are other teams. Uh, even though you're applying for a software developer, you might have someone from QA, for example, or someone from the BA team, the business analyst team, or the quality assurance team, or, or the, the, the web server administrators. Uh, reason being is those are teams that you're going to work with, and we want to make sure that you're able to collaborate with them. So once we know our audience, once we know the, 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 that I'm going to have a face-to-face, -face, I'm going to have a phone interview, a screening interview, with someone that is not necessarily technical, but they're looking to bring me into the company and make sure that I'm a match and I am who I say I'm in my resume. Uh, the next person are people just as technical as I am, that they want to make sure that they have challenges at the workplace, that I'm someone that could get those challenges uh, addressed and fixed and actually recommend things uh, to move forward in that direction. The third audience is manager or managers. Those are people that are responsible for my team and other teams, and they want to make sure that I'm a perfect fit, I'm a good fit, to make sure that the whole boat moves in the right direction, or the whole ship moves in the right direction. And then number four, sometimes, not always, you might get people from other teams uh, to jump in and collaborate with that effort. So at this point now, we're going to dig into more details of what expected questions they have, uh, because usually it's, 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 somewhere within those, it's somewhere within those questions that uh, we're going to be facing. I remember one time, and before we get into it, I just want to throw in a quick example. I remember one time uh, we were interviewing two people uh, that were going to work in a technical, uh, it's a technical team. One of them, I mean, both of them, I knew it was a question about a new feature. And that feature, 99% of the people have not worked with yet. So I knew right then and there that both of them would not know. I mean, if they did, they would have surprised me. And sure enough, both of them did not know the answer to it. There was about four of us. We interviewed both of them. Uh, the first, you know, the first person was a lot more technical, and we asked them that question. The second person was less technical, and we asked them that question. And both of them did not know the answer to that question. So it made sense to hire. Them.